Hello, you're watching Access. My name's Nathan Dytum, and these are the PlayStation Store highlights for Wednesday, the 25th of July, 2018. First this week, we have PlayStation VR action horror, The Persistence. Taking inspiration from dark sci-fi like Dead Space, The Persistence is a procedurally generated rogue light, and you're a cloned version of the ship's security officer, trying to sort out the matter-distorting effects of having gotten too close to a black hole. The upshot is a tense stealth crawl past mutated clone versions of your crewmates. Every time you die, your consciousness and game progress remain, but the ship is reconfigured. With bonus points for having unusually deep and enjoyable co-op play through a ship schematic companion app, the persistence is available now. Speaking of being in space in VR, also out now is Detached, a survival experience which uses virtual reality to recreate the weightless 360 degree movement of zero gravity, with an emphasis on realistic EVA suit physics and the incredible sights of the galaxy. Actually, let's just stay in space and in VR indefinitely, because also out right now for Star Trek Bridge Crew is the next generation DLC. This new content, which can also be bought as a bundle with the original game, includes the Enterprise NCC 1701D next generation era uniforms, encounters with the Borg and the Romulans and loads more. It's worth noting that Bridge Crew is playable both in non-VR and in VR. And it's also worth noting that we've been doing Picard impressions since we realised it was coming and we'll probably do a Let's Play series on this very soon. Back on Earth but still at the controls, Train Sim World is available on PS4 now in both regular and digital deluxe editions. This first person transport sim offers accuracy and realism on railways across the world, including New York's Northeast Corridor, Germany's S-Bahn and the train I get home when I go to London. Meanwhile, Mega Man X Legacy Collection brings together eight entries in the classic action platformer series and divides them neatly in two. The first four games in Collection 1, the second in Collection 2, although the whole lot are available as a bundle if you're that way inclined. Both collections are out now. Unlike our last game, the Banner Saga 3, which arrives on PlayStation 4 on Friday, bringing to a close a trilogy of tactical, atmospheric RPGs set in a mythical Norse world. The Banner Saga 3 is available to buy alone or as part of the Banner Saga trilogy. If you're after a bargain this week, then the store has you covered thanks to the launch of the enormous summer sale. This list is huge and you should basically just check it out for yourself, but highlights include Gran Turismo Sport, Assassin's Creed Origins, GTA 5, Neo, and The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I mean, why wouldn't you buy The Witcher 3? I would. I have. I did. For a full list of this week's store update, hit the PlayStation blog. Don't forget, you can purchase all of this content online at store.playstation.com and please remember, all PlayStation Store content is subject to change. Hit subscribe for your weekly show of PlayStation Store goodness and for loads of awesome videos on everything PlayStation.